Hello everyone, this is Sons Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends series, What If series um, wave. Uh, this is Zombie Captain America, so it's covered packaging for him. So first you get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. Zombies, uh, Zombie Captain America, What If logo right there. Here is the center of Captain America as a zombie. Here's the back with the description there. Uh, Marvel Legends logo, good picture of Cap there. You are building Watu the Watcher. And then if and this wave comes with um, Zombie Captain America, which does not have a piece for him. You get uh, T'Challa Star-Lord, Captain Carter, Zombie Hunter Spidey, uh, Superior Strange, Nebula, and then Sylvie. And then you get that same picture of C Zombie Captain America. Here's the top with that uh, Watu uh, logo there. And then here's the bottom with the DC pack. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. And here is Zombie Captain America out of the package here. So let's go over to your um, accessory, which is his shield here. So yeah, this is the same mold that we've gotten before. It looks like it's a primary red with the silver painted around it with the blue also. And then you get the stars and then you get this like purple uh, wash over it to make it look like it's blood. But I think they wanted to keep it purple uh, just because, you know, kids. So yeah. It's a really cool looking shield though, and it matches well. You get the straps here, it's not a flip clip one. Uh, so yeah, you get the leather straps. I wish they did paint this silver, or add some detail in the back there for zombies. I wish they could add in like that purple blood or something inside there. But yeah, you're not gonna see it anyways though, when you have this in his hands. But yeah, this is the only accessory that you get with him. And then here is zombie Captain America here. So here is the head sculpt. So you get the completely whited eyes. You get some rust on that A there. Uh, and then you get the unstrapped um, chin strap there with some rusted uh, clip there. And yeah, and then yeah, this thing is wicked. So yeah, you can see like the muscles are torn there and you can see completely through it. Same thing on the other side. And then you get some, like, mouth weirdness going on there. His jaw looks like it's kind of, like, dislocated or popped out. And then you get some more blood down the neck there. And then you get these, like, back straps here, which you could probably take off if you want. Um, and then you get the rusted star there. You get this, like, little chunk of his uh, chest there ripped off. And you can see the flesh and... Uh, rib cage in there you can get all that blood and stuff in there is kind of crazy and then you get like the dirty white and red there with some more blood spatter in there and then his sleeves are completely ripped off with this green pale skin there with some uh, blood on the shoulder and bicep and then here you also have the sleeve there i wish they painted that piece there red um which is torn up and then like, there's this, like, a little piece here that is loose, which is kind of cool. And you get some more flesh tears there. And you get his gloves here, which are which is also torn apart with some blood in there. There's a lot of detail in this figure. I like it a lot. And then you get this belt here with the rusted buckle. And then here are the legs, which is my favorite part here. So, in the thigh here, it's, like, completely torn apart. You can see through it, too. You can see my fingers. You can see the bone in there. You can see the muscles, r blood, and all that stuff in there. It's kind of crazy. I this so, and then I'll I'll talk about this here in a little bit after I go through the the figure. Uh, but yeah, you get more tears there, and then you get a completely see through hole in the leg, which is nuts. I love this. And then the boots completely ripped off, so you get the feet there completely shown and then you get the boots here i wish they added some dirt detailing on the boot that would have been cool and then to the back they actually added some stuff in there so yeah you get some rips in there and there's a uniform and then you get the rib cage shown in the back which is awesome and then here's a better look of the back there yeah you can see through this thing is just wicked so let's go over the articulation for him so he has a double ball joint head so you can move down that far up that far you can look left and right. 
you get a crazy bunch of head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees. 360 rotation there, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, also pinless joints. That's some wicked. And then wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. And he has a diaphragm joint so you can go forward just that much, backwards a little bit. And then you also get a waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs can kick out that far, forward that far, backwards now a lot. You do get a thigh cut there even though that, that might worry people. I am not really worried about this snapping. If you don't put too much force on the legs here where there's those holes, just be careful of that. Don't put too much on there, but it's pretty secure. It's not like too soft to the point it's gonna snap. It's actually very sturdy, so don't worry about that. So yeah, that cut there, double jointed knees, which are also pinless joints. You get a boot cut here, ankle scan down that far, up that far, Nice ankle pivot. This one you don't get a cut. So yeah, that's Zombie Captain America for you. So the thing that I was about to say um, before I caught myself because then it'd just be out of place. Um, I really hope they do more zombie figures, even though it's not part of like the What If series. I know Zom uh, Iron Man was a zombie, which is really cool. I hope they go do that version compared to the uh, comic version. Um, they also had a zombie Hawkeye, which was awesome. They had a zombie Falcon, which I loved, especially with the part that he had just no arm there. Uh, what other ones were zombies? Scarlet Witch was a zombie. I want Spider-Man as a zombie, even though he didn't turn into one. What if? But that would be pretty cool. Um, and there's a bunch of other zombie figures I want. I just really want a zombie display case because I'd buy those like crazy. I love the detail that they had in this. If they keep this up with all the other figures, with the zombie figures, I will buy them all. <laughs> I will not care. I will buy all of them and do a display on them. I love the zombie story. Um, read them. I didn't buy them, but I read them in libraries. And I also watched people talk over them on YouTube and stuff like that. This is one of the storylines that I really loved. In Marvel so I hope they do more figures of this this is like one of my wish list the top things on my wish list honestly um, more zombies um, Marvel zombie figures especially with the articulation that I have them in right now like the pose that looks sick so uh, yeah that's all I really got so make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description uh, this figure is awesome FYI so go get them right away when you can if you see them um, but that's all I got so thanks for watching <laughs>